Hey guys, Vizzello here. So, when it comes to Apple, I am somewhat lukewarm when it comes to mm, their products. In some areas, I really like them, and in some areas, I find it hard to recommend them. And in this video, I wanted to talk about one of Apple's products, more specifically, the iPhone 10 or the iPhone X. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this isn't because I'm going to review it. I don't actually own an iPhone 10. But I want to talk about why I don't recommend buying an iPhone 10 in 2018. Now the iPhone 10 or the iPhone X is a good phone, but I find it hard to recommend because the price is really high and for a lot of people you can't really get by with that because some people their budget isn't a thousand dollars, but Still being fair, I think that the phone is a great phone. It's very premium. It's got a pretty good camera It's got good specs face ID is pretty good from what I've seen It's not the greatest, but still it's not terrible and overall it's a pretty well-rounded phone No pun intended, but still I st like I said I have a hard time recommending it But I really would not recommend picking up an iPhone 10 right now unless you have a very substantial amount of capital and you just haven't had the time to buying an iPhone 10 earlier. And the main reason for that is because the iPhone 10s or the iPhone XS is probably coming out soon. And when I say probably, I mean like I'm 99% sure that Apple's following up on the iPhone 10, but at a cheaper price. Now this happens every year with an Apple product, or really majority of phone brands. There's a product, and then the next year, another product comes out that probably maybe even has a similar design, it might be different, but it might actually even be, like, had, had might have better specs, it might have a better display, but this isn't, like, something that people don't, like, this is something that people are used to. However, when it comes to the iPhone 10, this is why I wouldn't recommend buying it, buying one in 2018. And the reason is because of the leaks that have been coming out and that I pretty much, I, I can pretty much confirm that these leaks are true. I can't actually say that they're true because I don't work at Apple, but I'm pretty confident that these, this is actually what we're going to see. And that is a larger iPhone that's going to be the iPhone XS. And it's going to have better specs, going to have probably a better screen, better camera, you know, just a normal thing. But it's going to be a bigger phone. But the big part, there's a leak that's been circling that the iPhone XS or the iPhone X will be significantly cheaper than the $1,000 iPhone X that you can buy right now. Now, if you are a diehard Apple user, then you're probably wondering, well, this happens every year and phones get cheaper. Why would I be interested in not buying the iPhone 10? I am interested in it and I still want to pick it up. And what I say to that is that, yes, you may be interested in that, but for someone, the majority of people, they'll probably be better off in actually waiting to buy the next iPhone. Now, what I mean is that, let's say in a few months, I'm pretty sure this is what's gonna happen. It just, it makes sense considering the leaks and being honest, majority of the leaks for the I, for the base iPhone 10 were true. So I just feel like I should talk. So I just feel like this is actually the truth that we're hearing. So if you think that the iPhone 10 is a good deal, I would really, really recommend waiting because the iPhone 10s or whatever Apple's going to call it is probably most likely from what the leaks have been saying it's going to have better specs and a better camera and it's going to be cheaper and a big big piece of evidence that supports that is that iPhone 10 sales have been pretty lackluster for the year they haven't been like terrible like looking at it it's not like something that like people it's not like incredibly bad but still, when you compare it to other Apple phones, it's not in the same league. And mainly the reason for that is because the phone is really expensive for a lot of people. So I think Apple's just real, really quickly learned a lesson from that. And that's that Android phones are getting really good. People would rather go for an Android phone that's way cheaper and has pretty similar specs to the iPhone X then go with a more expensive phone that pretty much just has very similar features other than the fact that it runs iOS. So a lot of people, so I think Apple, because of the poor sales of the iPhone 10, has now learned that lesson. However, the only concern, so I think because of the poor sales and, so I think because of the poor sales, Apple will drop the price of this next phone. And because of that, I feel like if you buy an iPhone 10 in 2018, you're going to get, you're not going to get the full value out of your product because 
the iPhone XS, whatever it's going to be called, is probably going to offer better specs. From, the, from what the leaks say, it's going to be bigger, it's going to probably have a better display, and it's just going to be a better phone in general on paper. Of course, this happens every year, a better phone comes out, but it's probably going to be cheaper. And that's why I really would not recommend buying an iPhone 10 in 2018. However, you may be very convinced on buying an iPhone 10, and to that I say, if you really, really, really are interested in picking up an iPhone 10, you don't care that a better one is coming out with better specs and it's going to be at a probably a cheaper price soon. You just want a phone, and I'm not knocking you for that, that's of course your opinion. If you want that, then you probably will just be fine with picking up an iPhone 10. You probably have quite a bit of capital if you're into that. But for the majority, the vast majority of people, you'll probably be better off actually just waiting for the iPhone XS, or maybe even waiting for the next Android phone, like the Galaxy S10 to, coming out, to come out, and you might just pick up that. But being honest, if you're on the iOS side of things, I would just recommend waiting. But of course, those are just my opinions. If you have your own thoughts on this issue, then please leave them in the comments. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, then I really would appreciate it if you share this video on social media. And if you want to check out my social medias, I'll have them linked in the description. And see you.